first diploma in industrial automation and I've also completed my BSc degree in industrial automation. But uh, further than that, I've also completed my master's degree in industrial automation. Currently, I'm pursuing my doctorate of engineering. I'm an engineer because I believe there is quite a lot of discoveries that can be done in the world and engineering is one of the things that is at the forefront to make sure that the world becomes a safer place. Engineering has been my goal since growing up, <coughs> since discovering that there is an engineering sector. I'm talking this from primary school, I'm talking this from the time that I also started going to college, from the time that I decided to choose what I need to pursue in my career. Because I saw it as a, as a, as a potential where you, as an individual you can grow necessarily not being taught by somebody else but also teaching yourself to develop your own skills while with the help of uh, others that can give you direction. Uh, during the tenure which in, uh, I was doing my advanced diploma of industrial automation, I worked as a field service technician, uh, mostly doing installation, commissioning work, and also sometimes doing having to do maintenance work. But as I progressed, I completed my BSc, then my master's, then after that, uh, when I finished my master's degree, I was able to get a position where I'm currently working as an instrumentation electrical design engineer. So at the moment, it was, it, it was a jump from being a field technician to being a design engineer. All this, big, becoming a design engineer, it's got a lot of aspects that you need to, to, to be able to be versed with. I'm talking of uh, being familiar with different standardizations of different sectors. And with EIT, when I was doing my master's degree, I had the opportunity to be exposed to what design uh, engineering standards that are being implemented everywhere. Okay, so I spend a lot of time in the production environment uh, doing work for companies like Coca-Cola, uh, AB InBev, that's previously SAB. So I work mostly with high-speed packaging equipment, I'm talking of fillers, conveyors, labelers. That was mostly what I did in my previous uh, company that I worked for. Then I moved to another company where now it was on the consultancy basis. So that's where the whole design experience started. And currently I'm doing gas pipelines and well tie-ins for gas compression plants. I'm talking of equipment sizing. Uh, telecoms design infrastructure. I chose EIT because of a number of reasons, something that I can talk about the whole day. It gives you the flexibility to be able to study anywhere in the world. Uh, the lectures that take you through your sessions, they are world class uh, guys that have got experience in different sectors in the field. They've experienced it, they have had it all to a point that whatever questions you bring up, if they are really not sure about something, they're going to give you a little bit of time to actually come up with answers to your question. They have really given me that confidence to be able to walk up in an industrial sector and be able to Im implement whatever I'm being taught. And the material that they provide, the quality of the material, the quality of uh, the blackboard that we use for our, for our lectures, it's just next to none. As an engineer, I wanted to pursue this course because it touches on a whole lot of engineering sectors, can be mechanical, electrical, instrumentation, telecom, so it puts everything together to a point that you get a bit of everything that's around, but at the same time, you focus on on the automation side of, of, of things and with the development of, of engineering at the moment, industrial automation is like at the top of the of the of, of the food chain. It has actually helped me in the design work, which is something that I've also wanted to like really venture and jump into. These courses have paved the way and they've made what design can actually be and what it cannot be because you get to understand the different standards that are being applied in design work and how those need to be uh, implemented so that you 
produce a very safe design that can be used anywhere, which can also be a, a, a game changer for you as an individual because with the work that you, uh, you, you do, you need to be able to prove that your design actually meets the following standards. EIT has taught me how to be able to work in a group with uh, people coming from different backgrounds, different cultures. Uh, during my some of the modules, especially the project management modules, you have to uh, work on different sections of the different man project management uh, criteria. And at the end of the day, you need to come up as a group and do an online interaction and come up with one document. So it has also improved my, my, communi my communication skills and uh, also having to understand how other people work because group works in different environments can be a very difficult thing to do. But with the help that I got from some of the modules that I was doing, especially the project management one, that communication, that compatibility to be able to fit in with everybody else has really been a game changer for me. And also regarding how I execute some of my tasks at work, and uh, if I have difficulties, the lectures are very open to, to questions. Even during your, your, your own work that you're doing, you can actually pop them in an email just to tell them I'm facing this kind of situation. How do I go about it? And yeah, they come up and they really give you that, 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 that balance to say, if you are struggling with something, we are open. We are available for you for, 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 for any help. Regarding work-life balance, it, it, it gives you that flexibility because of the flexibility of being able to study online and being able to run uh, recordings even if you miss some of the lectures. It gives you that work-life balance way. Sometimes you come back home, you're tired, you miss a webinar, you're able to actually go back and uh, go through that webinar, do your summary and be able to actually understand what was going on. Believe it or not, sometimes I actually make reference to most of the courses that I've done when I'm actually executing my own job, my, my, my own job at the moment. I actually go back just to try to see how did we do it with uh, my lecture when we were busy doing uh, a certain module. So by doing this, it's, it's, it's really pushed me up in, in, in terms of engineering and I'm really looking forward to completing my DEG and see what else it's going to take, where else it's going to take me. Because at the moment, the direction in the future looks very bright.